What's up YouTube? This is Arm and I'm back. Pretty much I haven't done a video in over a year so uh, what a better time than before 2016 to start doing more videos. Um, I thought it would be a perfect time also because today in the mail I received my DC Comics Icons Black Adam action figure from Big Bag Toy Store. Uh, since my last video which was the 99 cent store pirate action figure review which was fun and I will do more of. Um, I've been going to different conventions. I've been collecting more comic book nerd apparel, uh, more comic books, uh, doing more art, networking more, just doing more things in the industry, as well as doing more things in the fitness and health and nutrition as well. So I will be bringing more content like that to this channel, as well as um, TV show reviews, Arrow, Flash, The Legends of Tomorrow, uh, some of the Netflix shows like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, which I found out to be really, really good. And some movie reviews, some trailer reactions, you know, the industry, the comic book industry is booming. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There's so many things to talk about every week as far as comic book stuff goes. So I'm going to make it my goal to at least, if not one video, one to three videos a week on something. Um, so let's get this started pretty much. I'm back. DC Comics, Icon, Black Adam Action Figure Review. Okay, this is the figure in the box. On the front panel, you have the DC Comics Icons logo. Within the O of the logo is the Black Adam slash Shazam insignia. Uh, this logo depends on which figure, so the Flash will have the Flash symbol, Blue Beetle has the Blue Beetle symbol, Arrow has the Green Arrow symbol, and so forth. On the right side of the box, there are some ventilation holes because this is a collector's grade figure. So in case you want to display the figure in the box on the shelf, uh, these holes will help with any, you know, weather or, or any kind of atmosphere change within your collector's room or within your collector's case. Uh, the top, the Black Adam symbol. On the left of the box, you have Forever Evil listed. Forever Evil was a DC Comics miniseries event in which the Injustice League from another planet or another um, reality comes over to the main DC continuity and battles the Justice League. The Justice League disappears and Black Adam is one of the few heroes or one of the few characters that actually battles him. He got in a one-on-one -on -one, um, fight with Ultraman and he got his jaw crushed which I didn't like because you know Black Adam is fucking badass. Uh, back of the box there's more marketing for DZ Comics Icon, Flash, Blue Beetle, Black Adam, Lex Luthor. You can see more figures. There the DC Icons logo again and overall the box I really do like it because it the design isn't so simple you know we have we have good logo good logo work good color um the box matches there are elements of the box that matches the character itself so you don't feel like you're just getting one box with different characters um dc comics have been stepping up their packaging with their dc animated series and their um, batman animated series um their new 52 just a lot of different series the figures have been coming out with have really good packaging so as far as the box goes, to me it's it's a it's a it's a ten. Um, let's get this figure out the box and look at some details. Okay, I got the figure out of the box, and he stands at a whopping six inches tall. Um, at first glance, this is a very powerful looking character. I can just say, um, you know, there are detail detail um, views, and then there's also the overall look. But the overall look of this character is great. Um, going into some of the articulation, there are a lot of points of articulation I discovered that's in this character. We have, we have a joint at the ankles, we have swivel at the calves, there's a joint at the knee, a joint at the leg, the base of the leg, we have the ab crunch, and above the ab, in the mid, in the mid section of the abdomen, we also have another, like, slight ab rotation or midsection rotation we have a standard head head swivel also with like a, a little bit of ball joint um, action going to and we have the basic arm ball joint rotation slash swivel there's also a deltoid swivel which is very impressive there is the elbow joint. Then we have wrist rotation and 
there's also a bit of wrist a wrist joint as well so you can rotate it and kind of swivel it as well based on whichever um, for all the, all the different arm pieces to all the different hand pieces they're all well paint job on this figure it's great I like the gold you know with Black Adam there's not much you can go wrong with just basic black and gold on this figure they actually um, got the look of his insignia within the insignia right uh, certain artists or different figures the insignia is um off centered to the left which isn't a big deal because I do like it centered uh, also I noticed that the insignia top to bottom it's more like a 3d flap instead of having the secondary piece go on the um, underneath the midsection crunch or the midsection swivel um, but I can see that they left it as one piece for aesthetics so I understand that uh, the cape is uh, the plasticky uh, latex flexible cape it's not so wide so that it won't get in the way he has a hood that's molded into the cape plastic the expression on his face uh, it's it's a cold it's a cold evil stare uh, black Adam basics other figures of his has made him look more like Dracula so I would prefer this look um, this pupil this look to any other his ears are pointed slightly like I like um, I like always I always draw black Adam with pointy ears and I do like it when other artists draw him with pointy ears uh, the base of the figures uh, his feet have the standard action figure holes that they always give for you know stands and play sets if people still use those with figures um overall paint job overall look at the figure you know I gave it a perfect 10 um this figure has also come with if I can stand him up he came with some I look like it's this alternate hands he has magic hands with lightning and then he has a uh, slight I'm a choke a bitch hands too so you look like he's about to choke someone out with these hands let me show you the choke a bitch hands He'll choke someone out black Adam and then these ones actually have lightning on the tips which I like as well uh, you know it could display some of his powers and I'll just demonstrate how to swap them out you just basically swivel and pull that out you take that stick it in there bam you can you know you don't have to necessarily make both hands match he can just be floating there with a fist with his feet pointed downwards in his typical black Adam faction fashion sending some lightning raining lightning down upon the moles in the strip club and I will try to find um, some flying um, stands for my other black Adam figures because he looks so much cooler when he's display floating alright so there you have it this has been the DC Comics Icons um, black Adam action figure 6 inch action figure I hope you enjoyed this review um, you can go to my Instagram if you want to see more pictures um, and similar content as well don't forget to rate comment and subscribe my Instagram is arm underscore 562 and have a great day YouTube peace